Cole Smith from Academy Ford, and I'm so glad to be able to reintroduce two of Ford's products to you, or at least what's new about them. First, Ford built off the Fusion's already good looks with their new 2017 exterior enhancements. The Fusion will have three trim unique, wider, redesigned grills. The shape of the headlamps have been slightly altered too, and you get the new dual beam headlamps with LED light strip on high trims like this one. Also in the front, Ford repositioned the lower fog lamps to the outer corners of the lower fascia, um, which they also thought to aerodynamically reshape so that it reduces stone chips to the side of the vehicle. And all Fusions take on a restyle rear with LED tail lamps standard. There's some changes on the interior too as well. On the inside, standard push button start, even on the base model. Since this is the platinum trim, you'll get the soft ceramic leather with quilt accents on the seat and door panel with a darker leather wrapped around the steering wheel and instrument panels and such. Uh, the 8 inch Sync 3 touch screen is also available at this trim and, <laughs> duh, I forgot to address the elephant in the room, or, well, the car, so to speak. No, not the one on the dash, the one in front of the armrest. This is Ford's new rotary gear shift dial, and it's standard throughout the trims now, too. It works electronically, so simply turn the dial to place the fusion in the desired gear. With four gasoline powertrains, a hybrid, a plug-in energy model, and several trims within, the 2017 Fusion has got to be the most diverse sedan on the market. The base engine is a two-and-a-half liter four-cylinder engine. There's also two EcoBoost four-cylinder engines, the one-and-a-half liter with auto start-stop technology. It actually gets up to 34 highway MPG and has 181 horsepower. The other is the two-liter EcoBoost, like in here. It has 245 horsepower and more torque than the V6 offered in the camera. It also bests the Sonata's 260 pounds of torque by 15 pounds as well, too. You need a little something extra under your hood. New to the 2017 engine lineup is the 2.7 liter V6 EcoBoost engine. Only available on the sport model, though. And for those who like to go green, the Fusion comes in two types of hybrids. Now, Fusion hybrid and gasoline models are very similar in design and convenience features, but the hybrids add performance and ecological advanced engineering. The biggest difference on the inside is the smart gauge with EcoGuide LCD display screens. They look like this. Now these screens show the driver real-time gas and EV power uses information that they can use to help make driving adjustments and maximize the best performance out of the vehicle. Both our hybrids are capable of up to 85 miles per hour solo electric driving, but our super hybrid, the Fusion Energy, gets an upgraded battery and can be charged with 120 or 240 volt power source depending on um, which you use, you can charge in seven or two and a half hours. And it's really the best of both worlds. It has the capability to be driven as an electric vehicle for short 20 mile or less trips and a hybrid for longer ones. The Fusion model lineup is pretty straightforward too as well. Well, at least the energies are. You can get an SE, a titanium or a platinum. The hybrids are available in all the same trims as the gasoline engines. So you can get an S, an SE, a titanium or a platinum, but there's no sport hybrid. The new gasoline Fusion Sport will be putting out 325 horsepower with 380 pounds of torque. And then I mentioned it's all-wheel drive. I wish I had one here to show you. It's going to come with trim unique styling cues like quad tip, dual exhaust, rear spoiler, and blackened wheel and grill to name a few. On the inside, Ford's going to give you premium leather with Miko suede inserts and sport aluminum pedal covers. You heard me mention Ford's new platinum trim. You'll be able to tell this model right away by the sport grill with the premium paint on there. It has sort of a mesh look to it. Now you can get gasoline versions of this model in all wheel or front wheel drive and all of the driver assist tech goodies are going to be standard at this trim. You'll get the pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection, an awesome feature for city driving. It uses a camera to watch for pedestrian and car shaped mar uh, items in front of the car the driver isn't reacting to, and it applies the brakes. Our adaptive cruise control with pneumatic stop and go function is also standard on the Platinum Fusion 2. And not only will you be able with that to preset the distance in cruise mode, but now the Fusion has the capability to fully apply the brakes in a stop and go scenario. 
Plus, there's a lot of other features on these new Platinums. Sync Connect and Ford Pass will be debuted on the 2017 Fusions as well. Sync Connect's going to be the 4G modem available on SE models and higher. And Ford Pass is the free downloadable app that uses the modem to allow owners to be able to access some of the vehicle controls, locate parking, um, and find their vehicle all from their smartphone. Sync 3. Uh, which is now going to be updatable by Wi-Fi or USB and compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto will be available on the new Fusions as well too. And that's right, Apple users will now have Siri integration and Droid users will have access to Google, Google Maps along with a lot of other features. There's no question the 2017 Fusion is more than just a pretty face. But if you need more space, the 2017 Escape has also just underwent an exterior refresh. Pretty much from the A-pillars forward and from the B-pillars back, it was tweaked to design given the grill, headlamp, and rear end with LED tail lamps. Because this is a titanium model, it comes with Sync Connect, Forbes 4G modem, uh, available on SE models and higher stock. I've already downloaded the free Ford Pass app, did the 24 hour waiting period, so now I'm registered and verified as the owner on this vehicle, at least temporarily. I can now use the app to do things like unlock the vehicle to show you the interior. It takes about 45 seconds for the car to actually respond to the control that you push. As you also saw, I scheduled a remote start, one of the other many things you can do with the Ford Pass app. Now on the inside, Ford allowed more space for more things. They repositioned the gear shifter so it's not in the way of the controls or the redesigned cup holders. They switched the traditional hand parking brake to an e-brake, uh, which really opens up uh, access to the two new media bins, one of which houses your new smart USB, which charges worlds faster than the other model, more so at the speed of the household outlet. The armrests have also been extended by about nine inches, so if you're a shorter driver that needs to scoot all the way up to the steering wheel, you still got a shot at using it. Speaking of the steering wheel, it's now going to be heated, available on the titanium models. Heats up to about 68 degrees in five minutes. As far as powertrains offered on the Escape, there'll be three. Actually a lot compared to, you know, like Honda. <laughs> the base engine is going to be the 2.5 liter four-cylinder engine. It's only going to be available on the S model and in front-wheel drive. You also have two new four-cylinder EcoBoost motors, a one-and-a-half liter and a two-liter, both with auto start-stop technology. The two-liter, like in this titanium here, also is a twin-scroll turbocharger as well, too. Now, Ford did not just throw some untested technology inside the EcoBoost powertrains. Both the new EcoBoost motors underwent start-stop testing of 240,000 starts over 917 hours. And you can get them both with our intelligent four-wheel drive system. This is going to automatically adjust the power slip from the front wheels to the back, give the driver more traction and precise handling in slick situations. Towing's also going to be standard across the board. The base engine starts off with 1,500 pounds of towing capability. Both EcoBoost motors come stock with 2,000 pounds of towing, but if you upgrade with the new Max Trailer tow package on the 2-liter EcoBoost, you'll have 3,500 pounds of towing capability, and that's more than you can get out of the Honda CRV. The rear seats in the back also have a 60-40 split too as well, if you need a little bit more space. Now, Sync 3 is also going to be available on the Titanium Escapes, well, standard at this level and available on the SEs. It's going to be compatible with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which will allow, through the 8-inch uh, touchscreen, those users to be able to access some of the apps on their phone through the screen in the car. As you saw when we were inside, the titanium gets that 8-inch screen stock. Um, on top of some other tech features that you can get as options on the titanium, such as the adaptive cruise control, which gives you the option to set a distance in front of the car ahead of you or behind the car ahead of you in cruise mode. And you also have your um, uh, enhanced park assist, which now makes parking almost as easy as pressing a button. You'll have park out assist capabilities added, reverse perpendicular parking added, along with parallel parking. You've also got the available lane keeping system, which will allow you to uh, watch the markings of the road, alert, assist, or alert and assist the driver in getting in between them. 
as you can see, is set to become one of the best SUVs